Hi guys, uh, sitting here with Mini TV, and I'm just going to use this video to explain the difference between the different resolutions so people really have some nice, simple, easy advice on how, how to choose their TV. So basically, I'm going to start with standard definition. Standard definition is basically just about half a million pixels on the screen. Now, it doesn't matter how big that screen is, it could be a 22 inch or a 65 inch it'll just put half a million pixels on. So obviously, it's a 65 inch, you'll start to see the pixels and start to see the little points, so that's not great. Moving up then to what most people now have, and that's high definition, so HD. High definition is about two million pixels on the screen, okay, and that's pretty good. If, if for a, a 55 inch screen, if you're closer than five foot, you might start to see those pixels, but that's all really. Moving onwards then, we go up to 4K. Now 4K, we've all heard of, 4K just increases that resolution that, that bit more. 4K is about 8 million pixels on that screen, so you are really not going to see those pixels with the human eye, um, no matter how far or how close you are to it. Um, and then of course we go on to the latest thing, which is HDR, and everybody's thinking, what is HDR? And it's high dynamic resolution. Um, what it basically means is that you're increasing the colours from, from hundreds of thousands of colours to billions of colours and you could possibly see that there. I doubt it because this is being videoed in HD so there's no way you're going to see it on the screen behind me. Once you've got HDR, you've then got what's called HDR Premium. Now this is basically what the spec is that, they, that the director films in um, and if you have a look at HDR Premium Basically, the, the only comment I can say is that everybody who's been watching this screen behind me has said it feels like the people are there. So basically, it's a retinal image. It's the same as a live image that, you, that you're seeing. That's not just due to the colours. It's also due to the massively high contrast range. We're going up to contrast ranges and brightnesses of about a thousand nits and down to darknesses of about one. Knit. So, and if you've got an OLED, even less than that, you're talking 0.01 nits. So, that's where it gives you that massive high retinal image, and it's fantastic, it's awesome. So, go along, buy one, it's brilliant, and you'll love it. Okay, thanks for that. So, if you've enjoyed this explanation um, and you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Thank you.